knowledge workers see quality of life when deciding on where to live, how should we improve Oklahoma as a place that attracts these new knowledge workers? Well, I'm glad I get to start with that one because I get excited. I've talked about it some as um, we've traveled over the last three years to uh, about this is an important issue. When people talk about one about being concerned about the brain drain and our graduates leaving uh, the state, they seem to focus on how much um, pay may be occurring in another state, what the wages are. Sometimes people leave because they're not convinced that the quality of life in Oklahoma is exactly what they want. Or if you're just out of college, perhaps it's not as exciting. And yet I can tell you that when I was elected to the House of Representatives in 94, the change that's occurred here in Oklahoma City, in Bricktown, in Midtown, and Downtown, is an example of what the state of Oklahoma should look at in trying to encourage other communities to make sure that the quality of life includes more than just business. The cultural and entertainment centers that are growing, um, not just dining, but other kinds of entertainment, the musical facilities, the new um, the improvements that have been made to the Civic Center have allowed a continued growth. And then you see what's happened, not just with maps in Oklahoma City, but Vision 2025 in Tulsa, as they begin to reach out. And I think today may have even had the ribbon cutting for the new convention center uh, being completed so that we can continue to bring the kind of entertainment uh, here that will make people believe they don't have to go to Dallas or they don't have to go to Austin or they don't have to go to Kansas City. As Lieutenant Governor, one of my functions has been to serve as Chair of the Film and Music Advisory Commission and what is happening in this city and in this state concerning film and music I think is also part of what knowledge-based workers look at for quality of life issues. The Academy for Contemporary Music at UCO that is down at Bricktown provides an opportunity for creating a musical industry. A film and mu the film industry is growing in our state. But what people often overlook is the fact that knowledge workers want to be around education and research. And new workers today will tell us they're always looking for continuing education. And a gap that Oklahoma has drastically is that we in our state do not have any tier one research institutions at this time. The state of Texas has three. I believe they're the University of Texas, Texas A&M, and Rice. And they have passed initiatives to indicate that they are wanting to grow two to four additional tier one research institutions in the state of Texas. If we want to have knowledge-based workers in our state, we have to have more than just what we have in the, in the research park around the OU Health Sciences areas. There's no reason the University of Oklahoma and Oklahoma State University both should not be tier one institutions by 2020. And it takes a commitment by the state and the leadership of the state to say this is what we need. That's the kind of commitment to higher education, to research that will ensure knowledge workers that we are not just interested in their job, but we're interested in continuing their development so that they can continue to be creative, innovative, and help bring new ideas to their own jobs as well as to the state of Oklahoma.